Guitar and Excel, Interval and Modes, Complement and Parallel Worksheet Part Number 10. Get ready because it's time for our guitar skills to Excel. Here we are in Excel. If you don't have access to this workbook, that's okay because we basically built this from a blank worksheet but started in a prior presentation. So if you want to build this from a blank worksheet, you could begin back there. But if you do have access to this workbook, there's a bunch of tabs down below, including the first two representing the final worksheet, the end product, the numbered sheets tying into the related video presentation. So you can go through the practice problem in a step-by-step -step fashion. The blue tab is where we're going to continue on here. We're going to start where we left off in the prior presentation. So last time we put together this colorful diagram, which is just taking the major scale, putting it in a circle, similar to what we had over here. And then we're gonna have the related modes in different color schemes around it. So if I started on the A, we were gonna be following the red around, and that gives us the position in that scale, as well as uh, the relative position in terms of intervals. So this is a great tool uh, because, but it, but it has some limitations at the same time in that we're looking at everything from a seven note scale when there's actually 12 notes in the musical alphabet, which makes it a little bit difficult to look at these intervals. These intervals, we have to just, we end up just kind of memorizing what these intervals are and not really seeing what they mean in terms of absolute distances when we look at 12 notes. So what we'd like to do now is do a similar worksheet, and this time we'll not do all the modes, we'll just do one mode at a time, but we'll look at all of the notes within a particular mode, starting with the major scale. And we'll look at all 12 notes so that we can get a real idea of what these intervals are actually, what they actually mean, right? So I'm gonna start this over here somewhere. So I'm gonna make a bunch of, of skinnier cells again. So I'm gonna put my cursor in CM, I'm going to I'm going to go all the way to the right so I have a lot of room and then I'm going to make these a lot thinner. So I'll make them about the same width that we had before cuz that we tested that. Let's make it around that width. And then I'm just going to start somewhere in the middle and we'll have to adjust this as we build this. It's going to be a very large thing here, so we'll have to say okay, we'll just start it somewhere. Let's start it down here like around here. And so I'm just going to start with the C. So I'll, I'll say this is equal to, and I could just pull this same C in from my wheel over here if I want to start that as basically the key starting point. I picked the wrong cell. Let's do that again. It's the cell in the middle. Pick the one in the middle. So there it is. So there is our C. So now I'm just going to go around the circle here, and I need to pick up all 12 notes this time instead of just instead of just the the seven notes let's actually see if i can hide some cells over here to do that so i'm going to be pulling not primarily from this worksheet but i'm going to be primarily pulling to start out from from actually the full list starting from this uh worksheet or possibly this area so let's hide everything from this side uh, let's actually see the intervals too let's hide it from here on over to like around here right click and hide so now i can see these things somewhat side by side okay and then i'm going to then go around my circle let's see i'm going to try to distance this out properly from the start so we're going to say down one two and let's go three over so down two cells one two three over and this is going to be equal to the next one is going to be a C sharp or D flat. And then I'm going to go once again, let's see, I'm trying to one, one, two, three over. So down two, one, two, three over. And this one's going to be, I'm just going to pull my D. So I'm just going through the musical alphabet, but starting instead of at A, all 12 notes this time, instead of at A, we're starting at the C. And then we're gonna go, okay, then let's go down one, two, three. And then this is gonna be the D sharp or E flat. And then we're gonna go down one, two, three, one, two. Let's go down one, two, three, one, two. And then this is gonna be then 
the E. So I'll pick up my E over here. Do, 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 do. We're going to go to the E. And then this is going to be down, let's say, one, two, three, one, two. OK, I have a pattern here. One, two, three, one, two. And that's going to be equal to the F. So we'll pick up the F. OK, and then I'm going to go one, two, three over one, two, three. And this is going to be equal to the F sharp or G flat. And then we're going to go one, two, and then up one. And this is going to be equal to the G. So I'm going to say this is equal to the G. And then I'm going to go over one, two, and then one, two, three. This is going to be equal to the G sharp or A flat. And then I'm going to go over one and then one, two, three up. This is going to be equal to the A. Right? Is that? Yeah. And then we're going to go from the A up one, two, three. And then this is going to be equal to the A sharp or B flat. And then we're going to go up one, two, one, two, three. And this is going to be equal to the B. And that's going to be our circle that takes us back around to the C. Let me just check. Does that look about right? It looks a little wonky. But let's see if I can fix that a little bit more. Let's actually pull this one down here. So it's kind of like even with that one. And then this one is down one, two, one, two, three. So down one, two, one, two, three down one two one two three let's pull this one down to like right there and that looks a little bit nicer doesn't it all right let's keep it at that okay so then i'm going to put i'm going to try to put the intervals here so this is going to be the one so i can say okay this is going to be uh the one so if i go back on over here i can pick uh the one here i can pick that from uh the scale so and i'm just listing it one one two three actually let's put it we'll we'll put it from here this is going to be the one and enter and actually these ones maybe i should take that from the related circle so let's unhide over here i'm going to unhide right click and unhide and then i'm going to go to my major circle over here i'm looking at these circles so i'm going to hide from here on over to let's hide all the way over to here for now and then hide and so now i'm going to say okay the one is the c let's pick it up from this one which will give us an i right there so it's a major chord construction and it's an i and then i'm going to go okay so then we skip the next one and we go on over to the d and that's because of our formula so if i go back on over here just to look at the formula We've got the uh, the four skips two to go to the six skips two to go to the eight. So we can see that here because now we're saying, all right, we're skipping this one. That's the point of this one. We can see the skip. We're not going to put anything here and we're going to say the two is going to be this D. So there's going to be the two. Let's actually move this whole thing up for now and then I'll move it down later. I'll just move this up to here so I can see it a little better. Uh, hold on a second. Let's just pull this whole thing up for now. I'm going to put it right there so we can work on it more easily. All right, so there's uh, the two. And notice because we're working on the key of C, all of the, the non-sharps and flats will be what we're looking for uh, here. So if that's going to be the two, we're looking for now the three. And I'm going to say the three. Uh, how do I want to shape it? I can put the three... I think we put it up here in the diagonal in my, I'm looking at my chart uh, to, to give me an idea of how I'm gonna format this. The three is gonna be an E, that's gonna be the three. So again, we skipped one right here. I put it out as a diagonal this time. And then we're gonna say uh, the four is gonna be the F. So the F, I'll put that underneath this time. There's the four, we're gonna skip the G and we're going to go, I'm sorry, the, the F sharp or G flat. And we're going to go to uh, the G, which is going to be equal to the five. 
and then we're going to go to the skipping the G sharp going to the A and the A is going to be equal to then the 6 and then we skip the A sharp or B flat and then this one is going to be the B which is going to be the 7. I'm going to put that down here because that's similar to how I did it on my worksheet. So I'm going to say this is going to be the 7. So I think that works. And then I'm going to move this A down. This gets easier once we get the original circle down here. I'm going to move that A down a bit. I'm going to move this G sharp down one. So it's from the A, it's one, two, three, and then one. Okay, so let's color code this thing now. So I'm going to make this one's going to be green. That's going to be my inner circle. I'm going to make this one green and white. And then let's make that uh, so everything around the circle is going to be uh, the green. So over here, I'm going to say one step up. I'm going to make the full circle even though there's nothing there. So this is the one, uh, and I can make that green, green, center, white. And then over here, there's nothing here, but it would be the same formatting. Let's format paint this to there. And then I'm going to format paint this again to the two and then i'm going to format paint this here we skipped uh, this note and then we're going to format paint it to uh, the three so i'm going to say format paint to the three which is the e and i'm going to pull this one down I'm gonna, i want to put this one down so it's diagonal this way and then i'm going to format paint that one uh, to here on the f and then I'm going to format paint that one here to the uh, F, uh, F sharp or G flat. Format paint that one over here to the G. And then I'll format paint that one to the G sharp, which would be, I'm going to say here. And then I'm going to format paint that one to the A. Format paint that one this way on the A sharp and format paint this one. This one I actually want going up this way. So that, that's why it looks kind of wonky. I want it going up here. Well, hold on a sec. Unformat paint. I want to format paint this one and then pull this one up to the top. So it goes like that. All right, I think, I think that makes sense. So there's the, the C. So now you can actually see that if I start on the C, and I go to the two, it's a whole step because I'm skipping a note, right? Or two, it's two notes away to get to the D. And then when I go here to the three, uh, it's a whole step because I'm skipping two notes. Now let's actually map that out so we can, so we can see that. So I'm actually gonna put that in here. Let's, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna copy this and I'll put that inside here so we can see it. So I put major Ionian showing all 12 notes and the formula is whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, or you can call it two steps, two steps, one step, two, 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 one. Let's make this, I'm gonna make this uh, black. So I'm gonna say, let's make this black. Let's make it white. I'll center it across those cells and I'm gonna go to the format center and go to the alignment and I'll center it across there so there we have it okay so then and it might be just easiest to put brackets around this whole thing as we build it so i'll just everything's got uh home tab font group borders so we could see it a little bit more defined okay so then so there is that now we'd also like to know the interval information so and let's center this one too I'll center that so if this is uh, the one if I follow this basically around and I look at if that is the one the one is zero steps away it's on itself which we call a perfect first so the one representing where it is in the scale uh, in the first position the zero representing how many steps away it is zero steps away so I'm going to say let's format paint this again to here and then on this one we're going to we're going to say that there's nothing uh, here. I'm just trying to think of where I want to actually place that. 
just to follow the circle around, I'm going to format paint this one to here so there's nothing there. And then, and then we have the D here. I'm going to format paint that one to here. And now we have the D. So the D is, we're saying, to uh, the second position. So here's the two. And that's going to be a uh, major second, right? So major second. So we'll say, OK, there's that one. And then we have this one doesn't have anything within it. So let me just make sure I got this right. This is one, uh, one, two notes away, one, two, three notes away. And I'll format paint the green underneath it here. So there's that one. And then the E is three away. And let's put that right here. And I'm going to put that one here. So the three. If it was there, that's going to be a major third. So it's a major third, the third representing it's the three here of the scale, the four representing how many absolute notes it's away from the starting point, which is C, which is one, two, uh, three, four. And then we've got the F, I'll put that on. Uh, so the F, I'll put it on this side. So I'm going to say, D, I'm just trying, once we get the position down, this will be a lot easier. So there's going to be the F. So there's the four. So the four is going to be a perfect four, which means the four represents the note in the seven note scale. The five, the five represents how many notes away it is using 12 notes, which you can see now is one, two, three, four, five notes away, right? And then we can go to here and say, okay, this one is here. Let's put it on this side. So we'll put it over here this is going to be the g so there's the g that's the perfect fifth so the fifth is the fifth note in the scale if i look at the seven note scale but the seven represents total out of 12 notes distance from the c in all 12 notes right so and then we're going to say that that the next one i'm just trying to format where i want to format it so i think i'm going to format paint it this way and then the a is going to be here so i will format paint that uh, a a to here and then i'm going to say the a is the six which is a, a minor a major six away so six is the relative position here the nine represents the tw the out of the 12 notes here's one two three four five six seven uh, eight nine what happened there one this is one two three four five six seven eight nine okay and then we go up to this one and i'll just format paint this above it we skip that one and then we go over here to the b and where do i want this i'm going to format paint this one this way and this is the seven so there's the seven relative position is that uh major seven which is 11 notes away. So again, the seven, it's the seventh position relative to the seven note scale. The 11 shows the relative position for the 12 notes that are involved here. Okay, so we'll continue that going around and started on, well, what if I did that same formula, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, but I started here from the C sharp, right? We could do that same thing and color it uh, going around. For now, let's just uh, look at the color scheme. So I'm going to go, let's make this one red. Uh, I'll see if I can find these red, these colors, because we're going to have, we're going to run low on colors here. So I'll make this one red and then white and then center. So that's going to be those. And then this one will do the orange drop down. This will be orange and then white and then we'll center that one. And then the E and then the D is going to be the blue. So we'll make this one drop down blue, white, center. And then the E, I'm going to put these two is going to be purple. Let's make that purple. These are arbitrary colors. I'm just trying to find some colors that will work here. And then this is going to be the yellow. So I'm going to go boom, yellow. This time I don't want it to make it white text because that'll be too light. So I'll just center it there. And then this one is going to be, we'll make this a lighter green. I chose a funny green here. I think it's that green. So I think it's actually like this green, but then I light, well, hold on a second. Undo. I want to choose these two. And then I did like 
this green, I think. Or maybe I did this green and then lightened it. I think I did this green and then I lightened it by going boom, color wheel, and I went to the custom and then I made it a lot lighter. So I was on the lighter side. And then so now I'm doing the light ones. And so I'll keep the text dark against the lighter background. And then I'm going to say this one, I think I did a similar thing with the red. So I went to like the red, but then I went boom, color wheel and custom, make it a light red, a light red, and then center. And then this one, I'm going to make the, whoa, hold on, hold on. This one is going to be the dark blue. I had a dark blue over here that I could have used and white and then center and then this one i'm going to make it a light purple so here's the normal purple and then i'll lighten it with the color wheel to a light purple light purple and then we'll center it and keep it black because it's black on the lighter color and then this will be the brown so where did I have a brown? Uh, I could use that brown. I think I was on this brown that is in my example. Let's center it, make it white. And then this one, I have a lighter orange color. Where did I get that from? I think I started with this color and then made it lighter. I can just use that color. I haven't used that one yet, but I think I made it lighter by going up to the lighter colors, the lighter register region, keeping it black on the lighter color. So, so there it is. So then what we're gonna do is we'll follow this. Now we're not gonna be able to make this worksheet basically dynamic, meaning it's not gonna change everything when we change our key on the left-hand side. So when I change this cell, I'm not gonna allow it to change everything uh, because we're gonna have to shift things, we're gonna have to shift the cells around. So what I want to do is after each circle that I have, I'm going to copy the whole thing and then paste it so I no longer have formulas in here, but just plain text. So hopefully I've done it correctly. And then I can, I can make this permanent by selecting the whole thing, control C and copy. And then I'm going to paste it right down on top again, but paste it just one, two, three. So now we've got the same thing with just text so that if I change my key over here to like a, to like a G on 11, it's not going to change our worksheet on uh, the right hand side. We're going to make it static. All right. So then I'm going to go back on over. Let's make it back to a four. And so then we're going to go around, around the circle. The next one we'll do, we could do uh, the C sharp. So the easy way we can do that is then I can change my key from four to five and my relative circle over here will change and then i can apply my same whole whole half so on from this point so let's see let's just do a few of them we're going to run long on time but let's just see how that might work i could say then that, that let's first make all of these the same red let's copy the format in here format paint that there format paint that there and then i'm going to format paint this to these two format paint it here and then we're gonna take just one of these and format paint it here, format paint this one, format paint these, and this one, I should have another green over here, format paint the green, and then format paint the red, and then format paint the red, and then take one red and format paint here, and then format paint here, and then format paint these two, format paint to these two and then format paint to this one format paint to this one format paint to these two right and then we're going to start on this one so now this is the one i'm going to represent that over here by saying this is going to be equal to the one and uh, and then i'll 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 change i'll unhard code these you know, I'm going to use formulas right now, and then we'll do that same thing to unhard code it. And then this is going to be the P. If that's the one, that's going to be now the zero position. 
or the relative or relative position one, right? That this C sharp is the one note. And then we apply our thing, we do a whole step. So we're gonna skip a note in other words. And now this is gonna be the two. Now note, you can see the two here, but it's also gonna follow the pattern. It's the two that's right there, right? It's just gonna be following the pattern around. So you're always gonna be a, a shift up on the circle. And so I'm gonna say, this is gonna be then the two, which is gonna be the uh, the M2, major second, second note, major second. So we went a whole step from one to two, whole step. So we're gonna skip this note going over here. I can see that because I can see that I'm gonna be one step away from the last green one. So I could pick up that three there, or I can pick up that three here. This is gonna be the F. If I pick up my F here, there's the F, here's the related distance, which is the uh, major second, which is uh, the major second, two note away. Hold on a sec, that's not right. This is gonna be the three. So this is the three on F, and that's gonna be the major third or four notes away. So now we went from here, uh, we went whole step, we went whole step, whole, whole. Now we have a half step. I can see it's a half step because it's one uh, distance uh, change from the green ones here. So now I'm gonna say this is gonna be a four, which I can pick up there, or I can pick up the four up top. And I can say, okay, if this is, th there it is there. So it's a perfect fourth, which is five notes away, five notes away from here, right? So this is the one. Uh, two, three, four, what, hold on, this is the one, and then I'm going to one, two, three, four, five. And then that four on this side represents again, where it is relative to the scale, right? It's, it's relative to the scale, it's the four, but it's five notes away when you're saying relative to the whole 12 notes in the scale, okay. So then we did the half, now we got three whole steps, so we're gonna skip one, go to a whole step again, so we're here, and I could pick up this five, it's nice and staggered, or I can pick it up over here. And now I'm gonna say, okay, there it is. Here's the relative position, that's the perfect fifth. So it's the perfect fifth, fifth note in the seven note scale, but it's seven notes away in comparison to the seven note scale. We have another whole step. So we're gonna go a whole step from five to six. So I'm gonna go up here and say, we could pick up that seven this way, or I can pick up the seven uh, over over uh, here. Wait, I'm on the six, right? <laughs> I'm on the six. So there's the six, and I could pick up uh, the six here or there. And then I'm going to say, here's the six, and that's going to be a major six, which is nine notes away. And so now we've got then, uh, then the half step. Uh, hold on a second. No, it's another whole step, right? It's another whole step. So now we're gonna go to a whole step up to here and that's gonna be the C. So the C is gonna be, the C is gonna be now our seven and that's the one with a diminished with a dot. And I'm gonna say, okay, if that's, if that's the seven now, the related position is gonna be a major seventh or 11 notes away. So hopefully I've got that uh, correct and we can just continue to do this for all 12 notes, right? So now I can do that from the D, I can do that from uh, the D sharp or E flat and so on and so forth. And we'll see how this thing kind of staggers its way uh, as we go around the circle. And then you can look at all the major scales basically from here, not just the seven notes, but seeing what it means to see the whole, whole half uh, thing or the two, two, one, two, 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 one, because you can actually see the notes that are skipped uh, within it and that's kind of that I, to me that's a nice visual tool uh, because again a lot of times we just talk about it as if there's only seven notes you know that we're measuring things in and we're just like wait a second there's only seven out of there's actually 12 notes it's kind of nice to see all of them to see what's actually going on in relation to all 12 notes so hopefully I've got that right because I'm going to solidify it now I'm going to take this and copy it and then paste on top, paste it one, two, three. And then next time we'll just continue on. We'll go to the D and we'll make a, a D uh, uh, circle and continue with it.